Good day guys, Lee Dipros here from fstoplounge.com. Yesterday when I posted my video on how to manage your photos, I had a, a question on Facebook by Ashley Pierce and he asked, how do you actually change the identity plate that you see in Lightroom 5? How do you change it to custom text? Well, let me show you. It's really simple and I'll show you other couple of cool tips you can do as well. So we've just opened up Lightroom and at the top left you can see it's got Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5 as the default and also the tabs across the top here. They're also the default. What we want to do is actually customize this as well as these. We can customize the font and also the color. So to do that we go into Lightroom, we go into Identity Plate Setup and you can see here it's got Enable Identity Plate and you'll notice at the top when I click it, it changes. Boom, look at that. You can then type in the text, so in this case we're just going to say f-stop lounge, whoop, lounge, and we're just going to highlight that text and let's just choose some random, you know, like, yeah, oh, it doesn't do windings, that's funny, interesting. So we just choose our text and then we change Let's make it slanted, and we'll change the size, make it really big or really small. And we can also change the color, all right? And exactly the same process here. So all you do is just change your, your text. We want to keep it regular. It's good to be regular, and then we'll make that much bigger. And these two boxes relate to the highlighted one and the the one that isn't selected so we're just going to make that one bright and then this one we're actually going to make dark so we know that we're not selected on it all right click off that click ok and look at that that looks so much better but it actually looks kind of sick um, what we need to do is go back into it and change our um, our actual logo let's let's put our logo there to do that, go into catalog settings. No, you don't. So what we need to do is go into Lightroom and go into identity plate setup. And you'll see here it says use a graphical identity plate. We want to click on that and then it says paste or drag an image into the space. Images can contain transparency. And this transparency is the actual background um, on our image. We want to make sure it's transparent rather than white or black. To do that, we need to open up Photoshop. So let's just go there now. You can see we've got our PNG document, uh, which is, that's our logo um, with a transparent background. So we need to actually size it correctly so it fits in the Lightroom area at the top. All right, so we need to go into File, New, and we're actually just going to make it a width of nine centimeters, which is roughly, roughly this. And let's just go for a height of, say, and click OK. And you can see it's probably a little bit big, but by the time we grab our logo, whoops, ah, we grab our logo and drag it onto our new template. It's going to be massive. Let's just size that down. Boom. You know, just for fun, let's just crop it. So I'll show you what it looks like cropped. Click enter, and now we can um, save that out as a PNG document. All right, and we'll call this um, the logo. I'll just save it to the desktop for now, which is my temp folder. Okay, and now we can go back into Lightroom we can go and locate the file, the logo, choose, and you can see here it's sized it roughly to where we where we had it on the on the image. Click OK, and there we go. There is our new Lightroom setup. So you can have your logo, you can have your different fonts here and different colors. How easy was that? It it really customizes the Lightroom experience. You can actually bring clients in and they can see your logo on the screen. Makes it really, really cool. So if you liked it, hit the like button. I want to see a couple of likes in this video. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to this channel because, you know, it's not just going to be me on this channel. There's going to be other YouTube contributors as well sharing their great insight into photography. 
Well, that's it for me. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.